starting lineup. Stevin Rensing is the acting head coach tonight. Here's the battery side. Yeah, and as much as we may discuss the players. The Indy 11 under Sean McCauley. This is the side again that's also missing a couple of notables, including leading goal scorer Jack Blake. Two of the top four in the East, and not just the East, in all of the USL Championship meeting tonight. And it is the Charleston Battery who will get this. Charleston, with that disallowed goal so far, but. Could be an early test here for Gardner, and he is able to field it pretty cleanly. Lindley's ball in. He's going to be punched away by Gardner. Volleyed back in into traffic, and I think Gardner may have gotten another touch onto it. Months back. Ooh. Oh, hello, Devin <laughs> Rensing. Still got it. I think the fans appreciated that one. I think he wants to put his jersey back on and get on the field with that touch. Charleston able to get the ball and get their dangerous players' touches where they're closer to, to goal and more likely to convert. Myers again! Oh, he turns again, and this time he scores! Javu, you just saw it from the other side, the exact same move. Controls it, swivels, gets his shot off. The first time he got a shot, but he didn't quite get a purchase on the ball that he would have liked. This time, no mistake, across his body. Doesn't get tight enough to stop the cross. Doesn't get close enough to stop the, the shot at O'Brien in that instance. He needs to get tighter. He needs to be able to close down that first touch. Comes close a lot, but obviously you know you don't get much from coming close. Rodriguez in again! No, oh, it's touched in this time! Charleston doubles their lead. Emilio Icaza on the door. A little bit of luck. The ball comes back off the inside of coach. Rodriguez whips this in. He comes back off the inside of the post. And Icaza in the right place at the right time gives Salte no chance of keeping this out the back of the net. He's able to keep that alive with a couple of back heeled attempts. Dos Santos on the turn. He finds Torres. Torres from Arcanic. It deflects in. Nick Markanik, everything he touches turns to goals. We saw the pass was a little bit deeper. Markanik was a little further ahead, but you see where Markanik positioned himself just for the cutback and then just got East, but in all of the USL Championship, although Louisville have three games in hand. As Sadie plays that across, it's going to be tapped in for another. Jackson Conway's first touch since coming off the bench. Charleston Battery absolutely battering in the 11 in this second half. And this is a little bit different to what we saw in the first half. The dynamic ability to take players on 1v1 and his two substitutes combining to get this goal. Aza and Drack stand over it. Josh Drack hasn't scored this season. Oh, what he nearly did there. Rebound is in. Robbie Crawford forces it over the line for Charleston's fan. A five-star performance. Charleston have been absolutely ruthless in the second half. Salty's done everything he can. You see he scuffles across his line there, dives, keeps it out of the back of the net. But Indy 11 just don't do a good job of reacting to that second ball. Crawford is the first to react. He's on his... The battery score five second half goals, and they put together a statement win over Indy 11.